that's just taking off there has an inline. It's very similar to the Merlin that you have in a Mustang. That's Ross Granley in the P40 and Bud Granley in the Corsair. So you heard the Warhawk. Now watch, listen to this one as the Corsair rolls out. Very different sound. The P-40 was the U.S. was with the U.S. Army's most capable fighter at the start of World War II. The P-40 Tomahawk, a modified version of the P-36 Hawk, flew for the first time in 1938. Because of this heritage, the plane was relatively easy to produce and could be hurried into service. The Spider type is particularly notable for the shark mouth painted or shark mouth choice of paint of uh, the famed volunteer group known as the Flying Tigers. After Pearl Harbor, the P-40 was often outnumbered by more advanced or more capable enemy fighters, but its low cost kept the plane in production long after other fighter technology had surpassed it. Most effective at low altitudes, many P-40s were sent to Russia as part of the Lend-Lease programs. 13,738 P-40-type fighters were produced by the end of 1944. This airplane was manufactured in the U.S., was then purchased by the British, and nearly given up, or given to, the, or and nearly immediately given to the Soviet Union in 1941. For almost a year, this airplane flew in combat in the skies over the Karelian Front in Russia, defending Murmansk against the invading German forces. Major Emakov was flying the aircraft on September 27, 1942, when the oil tank was punctured by enemy fire. Emakov managed to glide the aircraft to a safe landing, belly landing on a patch of snowy ground near Murmansk. It was abandoned there. The plane was discovered in the early 1990s and recovered. The plane was ultimately rebuilt in Chino, California and became part of the Her Flying Heritage Found Combat Armory Museum in 1999. Uh, incidentally, folks, that museum is uh, Paul Allen's museum up north. From right to left, the P-40 Warhawk, Russ Granley. Excuse me, P-40 Tomahawk. <laughs> 